Hi, this is Paul, and welcome to another Vita Learning video. Today, we're going to be talking about calibrating the Zircomat Centering Furnace. Now, this is for the Vita Zircomat 6000 MS or the Vita Zircomat 6100 MS. I get phone calls from time to time of people asking me, Hey, Paul, you know, my, my unit is getting a little older. I want to check out, make sure that the calibration is okay. Or, hey, Paul, I came in today and I ran a cycle and my crown just doesn't look quite right. How do I check the temperature on my furnace? For the Zircomat centering furnaces, the only way to check the temperature and to calibrate it is to use our Vita calibration kit and run a zirconia centering ring. This is what the calibration kit looks like. It comes in this nice silver box and included in this box is the paperwork, the directions. It comes with 10 centering rings. It comes with a digital caliper, a sheet to track your measurements, a temperature chart, and instructions on how to calibrate your furnace. I'm going to walk you through this to show you what it looks like. Okay, to start, we want to put a single one of those calibration rings in the center of our tray, but without the beads in it. So let me show you what that looks like. Typically, in our crucible here, we would have the zirconia beads. Now we don't want to throw these away, we just want to transfer them out of here into another container. I happen to have another container without the beads in it. So I want to place a single ring in the center and put it into my centering unit. The second step is to start firing. And the firing program we want to use is the YZT Universal. So let me show you how to find that on your VPAD. On your VPAD, the first thing you want to do is change the user profile here to the Vita profile. Now on the home page for the Vita profile, we want to find our centering programs. And the quickest way to do that is to go down here tap this, and then we can scroll up until we find our YZ Solutions. Under YZ Solutions, we're going to find our YZT Universal, and this is the program that we're going to use to calibrate or run that centering ring. Now you can see it's about a three-hour cycle plus cool down, so make sure that you give yourself enough time. And then we're going to measure our ring at the spots that I indicated. I want to use the flat part of the caliper here. And I am going to take my measurement. This one is 18.75. And I will take another measurement, 18.73. And I'm going to keep recording until I have my four measurements. The kit comes with 
forms that you can use to record your measurements. And in the end, we're going to take an average. So we're going to total them, divide it by four, and get our mean value. Once we have our mean value, we're going to use this to reference our temperature chart. And here is our temperature chart. Our average value was 18.67. So 18.67 gives us a temperature of 1623. Back to our log sheet here, the temperature from the table was 1623. And we're going to subtract that from the value 1625, which leaves us a difference of two degrees. I've created a cheat sheet here to tell you what to do with that value. Now, the value we're comparing it to is 1625. And we have a window of plus or minus 25 degrees. So anything from 1600 to 1650 falls within the window of it being okay. If it falls within that, you don't need to make any adjustments. Your temperature is testing within proper values. Now, if it's outside of that, so if it's more than 25 degrees either side, if it's between 50 degrees on either side, then you can adjust the VPAD. So on the low side, 1575 to 1600, or on the higher side, anywhere from 1650 to 1675, we can adjust and compensate for that difference in the VPAD itself. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. If we get outside of those values, so lower than 1575 or higher than 1675, Okay, that is outside of the range uh, that we can compensate for and usually indicates that there's something more going on. So at that point, we usually recommend that you either retest it or contact tech support so that we can help you troubleshoot. Now, if you find yourself with a value that is outside of the OK range and in the range that needs to be adjusted, the yellow range, you can compensate or adjust that on your VPAD. The first thing you're going to want to do is go here to the gears or the settings page. We're going to find the one that has the multiple furnaces here. We are going to find the furnace in question. For me, it's the Zircomat 6100. I'm going to press the gears or settings underneath it. And it gives me this option here for temperature adjust offset. Now, here is an important note that we are not going to compensate for the temperature difference with that temperature offset. We are only going to tell the VPAD, what that difference value is, and then it will compensate. So what I mean by that is in my example, I was two degrees too cold. I am going to send this to minus two degrees, okay, because it was two degrees too cold. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but that's how this functions. Now, if it was running 10 degrees too hot, I would set this to 10, and it will automatically make the adjustment and recalibrate our temperature. Now, the kit comes with 10 rings, and I recommend that you run one of these during your annual maintenance so that you can track the progress of your furnace, or if you're a new furnace owner, that you actually run one of these rings at the very start so that you have a reference and you can track the progress of your furnace and the heating elements. Uh, you can also buy replacement rings. 
So if you buy the kit and you need more rings, you can buy the rings just by themselves. That is available also. Another important note is that when you're using this calibration kit, you want to make sure that the number on the calibration ring matches the number on the temperature chart. Just like zirconia you're used to using in the lab every day, each batch of zirconia has a slightly different shrinkage value, and that's why you must pair them with the appropriate temperature chart. Also, rings from other manufacturers are not compatible in the Vita furnace and vice versa. They're specific to the company that they're made for and the furnace that they are meant to check the calibration on and are not interchangeable. Thank you for joining us for another Vita learning video. If you have more questions, please visit our website our YouTube page, or give us a call at the help desk.